Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to click on the notification bell because you'll always be very, uh, you'll always be alerted whenever I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it makes from the next creation team. What are we talking about today? We are talking about the latest updates and we are looking at uh, what's all about with the Gulf countries. Let us look at the jobs, let us look at the travel, let us look at anything that is around the Gulf that is beneficial in between. And we are looking at what we call the Dubai Vist Visa. Actually, we are looking at what is the latest information that is happening in Dubai. Most of us have seen these Gulf countries as a good opportunity for us to make money which we cannot make back home because one of the things that we need to understand with the Gulf countries that the money or the salary that you get is tax-free and most of the time is is twice what you get in your country which is a very good opportunity yes remember I say something when I keep on telling something is that when we come to most of these Gulf countries there's something that we need to respect when any foreign country gives you what you call a visa It's an opportunity for you. It is an opportunity for me to get that visa. Not everyone has that opportunity to get that visa to go to another country. But remember, as you get that visa, there's what you call a responsibility for you as yourself. What is a responsibility? The responsibility starts with you. And what am I talking about? It is to respect what you call the laws that are governing that country. The rules and the rules that are going to govern you or what are really set by that government to, 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 to be followed by anyone that comes to their country. And that is exactly that is what we're talking about. The latest information we have is that almost 20 African countries have been blacklisted, have been slammed. They will no longer be given what we call a 30-day visa visa in Dubai or what you call the UAE latest updates. They will no longer be given visas to go to Dubai. When I talk about Dubai, we are generally looking at even the other Emirates that make up the UAE because they will not be permitted uh, to, to get into a visas, which is actually going to put us down because it has been a very good opportunity for most of us when we go to these countries to make money or to look for something for our families to eat, which is so sad. But remember something that I need to let also let you know. This is not the first time the UAE is doing this. Why? The question is that, why are they doing such kind of things, especially to African countries? That means we need to ask as African countries, or we as individuals that are being recruited to these countries, we need to organize ourselves back to normal. We need to rearrange ourselves such that we can follow what they want. Because they don't lose anything at the time of it all. Remember, we have very many people that come to this Gulf country. We have people coming from Asia, we have people coming from other continents. Yes, they all come, all come to this country to earn what to do or to earn what to live in. And the latest information is that all, even those that are applied through what you call Regia travel agents, have been told to reject the application for a 30-day visa visa. Remember, uh, in October, there are a lot of changes that came into with the, uh, what you call the uh, visas in uh, uh, visas in Qatar, in, in what you call uh, Dubai, and you look at the 30-day 30 uh, 30 uh, visa visa would be extended to 90 days, which was a very good opportunity. A uh, great opportunity for those that have really had academic documents, a lot of uh, a series of visas that are being introduced in the in UAE or even Dubai itself that you can access to have good employment or to add something that's going to give you good money. But now we are looking at African countries that are being are being are being called or slammed off to be not given to any visa or the 30 day visa. The reason is that why they're always uh, coining on this is that because they are most of the African countries or most of the people that are coming from the African countries to go to this Dubai to look to those countries to look for a job. They've been using what you call the visa visas to overstay. And some of them have been using the visas to overstay and go and in what you call indulging in what you call what is not required of the country or what is tarnishing the name of the country, which I'm actually talking about right now. Is that let us begin with us that we have the responsibility. Let us even try to keep it for those people that will come after us to have the same opportunity. 
Because if these countries begin just getting us out of these countries, that means we, we Africans generally, we are given opportunity to other countries, especially in Asia, to take up the opportunity. To take up the opportunities or they take up the roles and yet we had we had been we, we had been actually been welcomed by the most of these countries which actually not sounding good or which may not be good news uh, to people who may come after so meaning that wherever applied whatever applied for a visa visa of 30 day visa either to a travel agent or to any agent or to any uh, industry or authorities those these those uh, applications are going to be rejected or they'll be rejected immediately and any application above the mentioned country should be sent back and cancelled that was by the statement any application coming from the listed 20 countries should be rejected cancelled and should be sent back to the person who applied to let that person, he or she, know they are not allowed or there is what we call on a ban. That is what I have to let you know. So let us try to go through the countries and know which are these countries. If you belong to this country, know that you no longer get a visa, visa a 30 day visa, visa to UAE or to Dubai until what we call the further notice. One, we have Uganda, we have Ghana. We have Sierra Leone, we have Kenya, we have Sudan, we have Cameroon, Nigeria, Liberia, Burundi, Republic of Guinea, Gambia, Togo, Democratic Republic of Congo, Senegal, Benin, Ivory Coast, Congo, Rwanda, Burkina Faso, Guinea-Bissau, Comoros, then also what you call Dominican Republic. So, meaning that most of these countries, why, why all well, in all African countries are these are the only countries that are being are banned from going to, from having what we call 30 day visa visa? Man, that means these countries have had individuals that have exceeded to the overstays according to uh, their records, so they have to get it off, which is actually not good news. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's mixed from next question, and I always keep on updating you whatever is happening. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That notification bell is always very important. You always be updated when I have to drop in something, something new. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.